Then the other player that's keeping Wolko Low out of the Springbok squad is none other than the man, the dancer himself. <laughs> Hello rugby fans, welcome to today's video. I hope that everybody had a glorious rugby weekend. I certainly enjoyed my rugby weekend. When I was scrolling through social media, um, scrolling to my Twitter, especially after the, the Harlequins and Exeter Chiefs game, I noticed a question from UK fans. And the question that was posed was you can't believe that Wolko Low is a fourth choice titan prop in South Africa. Now in this video I would like to address that particular question or that particular statement and have a look at who's the other titan props in the Springbok setup. And yeah, so let's do that. So first of all, um, Wolko Low we all know Wolko Low is an ex extremely very good player when it comes to scrummaging and tight phases or set pieces. He is a very good scrummager. I think that he was picked up from a very early age um, and he was recognized for his talents and was brought into the Western Province setup from a very young age and we actually played instrumental part for Western Province as well as for the Stormers. So everybody know that Wolkolo is the man. He also has a couple of Springbok caps to his name. But I would like to look at who's the players keeping Wolkolo out of the Springbok setup. So the first player that's keeping him out of the Springbok setup is Franz Malherbe. Now everybody knows Franz Malherbe He's an exceptionally good player himself, technically very astute in the scrum. He's not perhaps the most agile um, player or forward, but who needs an, an agile uh, prop? You just need someone who can scrum and who can last the game for at last, let's say about so 15 minutes. You don't need an athletic scrummager or or prop in your team. You just need someone who can scrum and who can um, be at the rack at a good enough speed. So Frans Malherbe. Now Frans Malherbe, he hails from Bedaarsdorp, um, 1.9 meters tall, he weighs 130 kilograms, he has 109 caps for the Stormers. Now Frans Malherbe is a tight prop who is keeping Wilco low out of the Springbok team. So I would think Franz Malherbe is actually a better tight head as Wolko Low. No doubt about that, right? More experienced, he fits into the Springbok mold. The other player, the other player that's keeping Wolko Low out of the Springbok setup is Thomas Tank the Toit from the Sharks. Thomas the Toit was part of the Springboks 2019 World Cup squad. We played a couple of games and um, like Franz Malherbe, the guy is 1.9 meters tall, weighs 134 kilograms, um, he made his test, test debut in 2018 and also a very good scrummager. So Thomas the Toit is there, he's keeping Wolko low out of the Springbok squad. Is Thomas the Toit better than Wolko low? I would say they on par. Okay, then the other player that's keeping Wolko Low out of the Springbok squad is none other than the man, the dancer himself, Mr. Trevor Nyankane. Now, Trevor Nyankane, many people would say that he's in the squad due to political reasons, due to political pressures. Trevor Nyankani was also part of the 2019 Springbok squad. Unfortunately, he got injured in the opening game against the All Blacks. He got injured. Um, and that injury kept him out of the 2019 World Cup, which, is, which was a shame. 
because people would have would have actually um, seen how the guy play and the world cup would have been a showcase for him to display skills now people argue that Wokolo is technically better and stronger than than Trevor Yankane. That's debatable. Trevor Yankane is a, a prop who can scrum. He can be in the loose as well on the field, but mobile. But also, sometimes in rugby, you have to look outside the technical things of the game. You must also see how does this person fit into the squad as a whole. What dynamic does, does a person like Trevor Yankani bring into the squad? Now I can tell you, Trevor Yankani, he looks like someone that I want to be friends with. <laughs> the, way the, guy, the way the guy is spontaneous, when he's, when he's in a crowd, he keeps people entertained the way, the way he is. So there's a whole dynamic of, of, of being off the field as well and what you can also contribute off the field. And it's something that Trevor Yankani gives to all his teams he played for. For the Cheetahs, he gave that, he's giving that particular um, characteristic for the Bulls as well, as well as well as for the Springboks. So those are the players that's keeping Wilco Low out of the World Cup, of the World Cup team, of the British and Irish Lions 46-man squad. Like I always say, the year is long. This is a long Test rugby calendar year. And I, I am sure that Wilco Low will get this opportunity in the Springbok setup. Obviously, for the British and Irish Lions, it might not be now, but you never know with injuries. We, we saw the issue with Cal, um, Cal Sinclair, where the guy cried on national TV because he didn't make the, the Lions squad. And then I think one of the Irish props got injured and the guy was called in. So, so Africa has an abundance of forwards of props and it's only inevitable for a very good player like Wilco Low not to make the squad but the guy shouldn't 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 feel the, the, the speed the fans shouldn't feel the speed but it's just the way the way it is someone has to lose out you can't take everybody so that's my video for today just addressing that particular statement or question I saw on Twitter about Wilco Low and who's keeping keeping Wilco Low out of the Spring Ball squad. So now you know. So please guys, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and until the next video, thank you.